Assalamu alaikum friends, in this part we will discuss the IUPC naming of alcohols and ethers. So let's start with alcohols. Here are the basic rules for alcohols naming. Rule number one is select the longest chain. Rule number two is numbering. Remember that while numbering alcohols, carbonyl atoms should be given the lowest possible number. Carbonyl is that carbon atom which is directly attached with OH group. For alcohols, we use suffix all. And rule number four is final name. Before we proceed to the practice, let's consider the priority list over here. While numbering in IUPC naming, the priority list should be considered must. Okay, this is the priority list. Um, if we give highest priority to the carboxylic acid and lowest pr priority to the nitro group. The priority, uh, the ranking lessens as the chain goes down. Okay, now let's practice some alcohol compounds. Okay, in example one, we need to first select the longest chain. This is the longest chain. This is the carbonyl atom because it is directly attached with the OH group. Now we start numbering from right hand side to give carbonyl the lowest possible number. For we write the number, uh, you can say position of the functional group, and then prop for three carbon, in for a single bond, and all for, aldi, for alcohol. So it's one propanol. In example two, again longest chain. This is the carbonyl, carbonyl atom over here. Numbering should be given from right hand side. At position one we have um, branch or you can say radical as well. So write the number and name of the branch. One methyl. One pent for five carbon in for a single bond and all. One methyl, one pentanol. In example three, again longest chain. Carbonyl, at, carbonyl atom should be given less number, so numbering starts from here. One, two, three, four. Okay, well, now we have two branches. Now, now don't get confused at, at which branch you should write first in naming. Remember that well, when we have two branches, we should follow the alphabetical orders. Since bromine B comes first, so we write the bromine branch first. Two bromo, one methyl, and at position one we have the alcohol group so it's butanol right in example four we have alkene as well here is alkene now we select the longest chain first okay. so priority should be given to the alcohols So at position 3 we have branch or you can say radical so write the number and name of the branch first 3 methyl at position 4 we have hexene which is alkene and at put sorry it's, yeah, it's it, it is being visible over here and at position 1 we have all so this is the name of this compound. In example 5, we have two hydroxyl groups. And we have two carbonyls. Okay, numbering should be given in, the, in that way by which carbonyls get the lowest number. So we start numbering from right hand side. It is 1, 2, 3 carbon. We use prop, single bond in. Since we have two hydroxyls, we use di. And for hydroxyl group, we use all. Sorry, for alcohol, we use all. It's 1, 2 propane diol. Now come to the naming of the ethers. Okay. Ethers are organic compounds that are that contains hydrocarbon groups attached with the oxygen atom. Rules of for na IUPC naming of ethers is slightly different from others. So first we need to select the longest chain, second numbering. Numbering pri priority should be given according to the list that has been shown before. And rule number three is for, for ethers, um, we use suffix oxy with 
less carbon atom side and we use suffix in with more carbon atom side and rule number four is name the chain now let's practice these rules by these ethers okay so here i have write, write some ether compounds now for rule number four, one is select the longest chain this is the longest chain and numbering if we start numbering from here there's okay so it in this chain we have first we need to write the remember oxy should be written first and then we should written write the in okay according to the rule number three use suffix oxy for shorter alkyl group and suffix in with longer alkyl group so we have this is the shorter alkyl group and here we have it it oxy for longer alkyl group we use the suffix in it oxy propane right in example two again we select the longest chain now we have the branch over here we give priority to this methyl Okay, so we start numbering from here, right? Uh, okay, so for shorter alkyl side, we use oxy. Here we have two carbons, we use it oxy. And remember, okay, the branch name should be written first and number two methyl it oxy propane. Sorry, it's one ethoxy. Okay, I'm sorry. It's two methyl. One ethoxy. Propane. Okay. So this is the name of this chain. And I, in example three, we have alkene as well. So first we need to select the longest chain. Okay. Now numbering. Okay, before numbering, let's see that. Alkene should be given priority over ethers. So we start numbering from which side where we get the lowest number for alkene. So this is the left hand side. One, two, three, five, six. Okay. So numbering is at position four, we have ethoxy. So we write it as. Okay, we have branch over here as well. I'm sorry, I just missed it. At position two, we have a branch. So we write the branch number and name first. Two methyl four, so I'm sorry. Four it oxy. For six carbon, we use hex. Hexene. Okay, sorry, we need to mention the number of hexene as well. So it's ethoxy 1 hexene yeah it's 2 methyl 4 ethoxy 1 hexene okay i hope you find this video um, tutorial helpful for more for complete understanding of the topic um, watch all the parts of this video thank you for watching